Hello techies and welcome back. I am your instructor Sabhav. This is the fourth part of SAS character function and this video we are going to discuss about length c function. Now in the previous case we have discussed, in the previous video we have discussed about length function and this video is about length c function which is again similar to length but yet very different. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel and also hit the bell icon to get uh, latest updates on my video. So let's get started. A very simple definition of length c function is that it returns the length of a character string including the trailing blanks. In the previous video which is a length function, if you have not seen my previous video please don't forget to check them out. In the previous video when we were talking about the length function, we have seen that the length function excludes the trailing blank whereas in length c function it will include the trailing blanks. A very simple syntax for length function is that the variable name which is going to store the result of the length c and the string value and guys this string value can be a character constant, it can be a character variable or any expression, right? So let's do some example to understand the length c function. Now <coughs> Talking about the SAS, this is a character which we are going to use it for our practicals. Now assume that we are going to have some, uh, let's say, uh, blanks before and after the word SAS. So let's say I am having two words, uh, two spaces before SAS and three spaces after the alphabet SAS, after the word SAS. So in the previous uh, video, we have also seen that they are called as leading blanks right and they are called as trailing blanks trailing blanks correct I have also told you the trick to remember L will come before T so it is L and then T L M N O P Q R S and T. So first is the leading and then is the trailing. So first blanks as the leading blanks and then we have the trailing blanks. Now length C function says that it will return the length of this character but it will also include the trailing blanks whereas I mean the length function uh, sorry the length C function length C function will include the trailing blanks whereas the length function was only including leading blanks and not the trailing blanks. The length c function will actually include both the leading and the trailing blanks. One of the similarity between the length and the length c function is about the blanks is that both of them will include the leading blanks. That means leading blanks are not being omitted. Leading, leading blanks are always considered. Let's uh, do an example to understand this. So let's say for example, uh, let me create a data set data and let's say uh, function 1 and let me have word A and let me give SAS right run uh, sorry let's say result 1 is equal to length c and we'll pass argument a run proc print data is equal to function 1 run now guys can you guess the result uh, i think most of you have guessed it correct it is going to return 3 it is going to return 3 now assume that i'm going to include some blanks let's say let me change the data set name as function 2 and let me include both leading blanks two leading blanks and three tra trailing blanks two leading blanks and three trailing, bl trailing blanks can you guess the result so is it going to be 2 plus 3 5 or 3 plus 3 6 which is trailing blanks or leading two blanks plus three characters sas sorry three alphabets plus three three plus three six plus two eight which one is going to be the right result the a the last one that is the eight because let's see will include 
Let's see will include the training blanks as well. That is the difference. That is actually the difference between the length function and the length C function. Length function excludes the trailing blank. Length function excludes the trailing blank. Whereas length C function will include the trailing blank. Length, function, length C function will include the trailing blanks. Similarity is that both the functions length and length C both will include the trailing blanks. I hope you have understood the concept of length C function and you would have also understood understood the difference and the similarities between the length and the length C function. Thank you so much for your time guys and please don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon and also let me know the list of topics which you want me to discuss. Thank you so much you have a wonderful day ahead.